Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Happy New Year. I hope you all had a happy holiday season and uh, my best wishes to all of, all of you um, for 2021. Let's make this year a better year. Now that 2020 is over, it's time for me to log another video and provide an update as to how my violin progress is going. Unfortunately, I fell into a difficult time since September of 2020, which also means that I haven't practiced since then. Um, I will do my best to explain why in a nutshell, although it's a bit personal, but I feel that it's necessary because this is my violin journey and there, there was a snag and I feel that with good reason I had to stop practicing for a bit. Alright, so here it goes. My mom, who I was very close to, became very ill since September and um, it all started in January. I noticed that everyone I knew, including myself, caught a what we thought was a common flu. So my mom caught the flu too and unfortunately since then she was not the same. Um, she was left with a really bad cough, a chronic cough, and a lot of breathing problems. And as a result we took her to the doctor and then she saw a lung specialist, a pulmonary specialist actually, um, who diagnosed her with interstitial lung disease. She was 94 at the time and we were warned that there was nothing that we can do about it. Unfortunately, the disease kept progressing to the point where it reached its worst peak, which was around September, and she was hospitalized several times. I had to set my uh, violin practice and my uh, day job to one side. There came a point where we had to decide to put her into hospice care in hopes that she would get better or at least if the worst were to happen um, she would be as comfortable as possible. Unfortunately the worst did happen and she passed away on November 2nd of 2020. Since then I was not able to pick up my violin. Typically when I'm not in a good place I can't create music I have to be inspired and be in a good place to even sing a tune. So I am a singer, so I could not do music at all, uh, let alone just pick up the violin where I'm a beginner in it and it just nothing is going to happen. So um, during that time of mourning, I um, needed a lot of time to get over my loss. and. I was able to sing a tune here and there probably several weeks after uh, my mom's passing. I am ready to resume my violin journey and I'm looking very much forward to it. Um, I might have a lot of catching up to do, hopefully not, but if I do, so be it. I'm ready. So I plan to begin where I left off. I left off uh, starting on Suzuki Book 2, I learned the first two songs. I was also in the middle of my vibrato training and I was doing okay. I have a few uh, pre-recorded videos that I left to one side at the time of my hiatus, um, which were about uh, scales, uh, the E minor scale and the C major scale, both one octave, and that would conclude my beginner scale series. So I will be releasing those within the next few weeks. Also, I have to complete my recordings from Suzuki Book One. I have three of the, of the last songs left to record, which is Minuet Three, uh, the Happy Farmer and Gazex Gavat. So there's a lot left to do and I hope to do them 
within 2020. A big thank you to all of those who subscribed to me throughout the entire last year. I ended 2020 with exactly 100 subscribers. Woohoo! Thank you so much. I really appreciate that you subscribe to my channel. Believe me, it makes my day every time I get that notification that I got a new subscriber. Also, thank you for all the comments, all the likes, and even all the dislikes. I really appreciate that interaction. It really puts a smile on my face every time I see someone interacting or opening a discussion because of my videos. So, and it, which tells me you, you actually watched my videos. So thank you very much for doing all that, for commenting, liking, and for subscribing. It really helps me out a lot and it really does make my day. Well, I'm going to conclude this vlog with a short, dedicated voice performance of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Requiem, known as P.A. Jesus. This performance is dedicated to my mom, who will always live in my thoughts and in my heart. So I hope you enjoy. Here it goes. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. I hope to see you next time. Bye.